For a game with the words Rush and Blood in its title, this on-rails VR arcade shooter is sadly lacking in thrills. And yet, there's something inviting about Until Dawn Rush of Blood's cheesy horror and gimmicky roller coaster based structure. While Russia Blood is a pretty standard rail shooter, the ability to look around in VR when you hear something creeping around behind you makes the experience far more engaging. It starts out strong, especially once it hits its stride after the tutorial heavy first level. The shooting mechanics are simple and easy to grasp with either a DualShock 4 or the Move controllers, and feel just as fun and responsive with both. There's never a shortage of targets to shoot, including inanimate filler objects to help keep your point multiplier going if you're chasing a high score, as well as special collectibles that kept me hyper aware of my environment at all times. Long stretches of inaction serve as a breather and a way to rest your arms from the inevitable fatigue caused by the motion controls, but happen a bit more frequently than I would have liked, a problem in levels that last only about 5 to 15 minutes. More often than not, Rush of Blood feels like a slow walk through haunted house with a shooting gallery instead of a roller coaster, and it's about as scary too. It starts to show a lot of potential for scares in level 2, a meandering tour of a slaughterhouse for giant pigs, followed by a surreal descent into an Until Dawn inspired nightmare. Unfortunately, the environments get less and less interesting across its seven total levels, blurring together into the same boring combination of rickety buildings and musty caves with equally uninspired enemy designs. I was drawn in far more by the 3D sounds, which built an uncomfortable atmosphere while having the practical effect of alerting me to nearby threats. But as a result, jump scares are telegraphed way too often and the horror almost completely evaporates. After I realized how tame Rush of Blood scares were going to be, it took a lot of the edge off and the experience suffered. But even as a mere horror-flavored rail shooter, Rush of Blood isn't terrible. Optional side passages, the frequency of collectibles, and an end-of-level letter grade system that rates your accuracy offer plenty of casual replayability. Coupled with its smooth motion-based controls and barring some of its weaker stages, Rush of Blood actually makes for a decently fun ride. For more on PlayStation VR, stick with IGN.